song. Get us a new rhythm. It's our brave young Hayward and the story we will tell. His name is Willie Brennan and in Ireland he did dwell. Cause on the Gilbert Mountains he pigments his wild career. And Manuel the Norman before him shook with fear. And there's Brennan on the moor. Brennan on the moor, for brave and undaunted was young Brennan on the moor. One day upon the highway as Willie he went down. He met the mayor of Cashel, a mile outside the town. The mayor knew his features, and he said, young man, said he, your name is Willie Brennan, you must come along with me. And it's Brennan on the moor. Brennan on the moor, go brave and undaunted, was your Brennan on the moor. Now Brennan's wife had gone to town, provisions got to buy. And when she saw her Willie, she commenced to weep and cry. He said, hand to me that ten. And as soon as Willie spoke, she handed him a blunderbuss from underneath her cloak for young Brennan on the moor. Brennan on the moor, full brave and undaunted, was young Brennan on the moor. Now with this loaded blunderbuss that you guy were on board, he made the mare to tremble and he robbed him of his gold. One hundred pounds was up for his apprehension there. So he went horse and saddle ah! to the mountains did repair. Did young Brennan on the moor? Brennan on the moor, bold, brave and undaunted, was young Brennan on the moor. No Brennan being an outlaw up on the mountains high. With cavalry and infantry did take and they did try. He laughed at them with scorn until at last was said by a false-hearted woman he was cruelly betrayed. Was young Brennan on the moor? On the moor, bold, brave, and undaunted was young Brennan on the moor. He took Brennan to the crossroads, and there he hung and died. And still they say that in the night, there's some do see him ride. They see him with his blunderbuss, all in the midnight chill. As all along the King's Highway, rides Billy Brennan still. And it's Brennan on the moor. Brennan on the moor, bold, brave, and undaunted was young Brennan on the Well, Brennan on the Moor, a man who used to ramble this particular area. We're not very far from the Kilworth Mountains here. In fact, we're in the famous town of Carrick and Shure, where a very famous family have rambled all over the world with uh, Irish music. And uh, in fact, uh, it's actually the Clancy Brothers, of course, in case you didn't recognize the sound. Uh, Tommy, Pat, and Bobby Clancy. Hey, Tommy. Uh, the, the, the Irish music that you brought uh, away from a small town like this here, you brought to America, spread out all over the place, and now you bring it back again just the same way as she started off. Just yeah. like Willie Brennan, the theory of, of the, the, the outlaw being sung about in song and in story is worldwide and international. Uh, the heroes, folk heroes, often were outlaws, like Jesse James and the rest of them. As the songs, of course, became part of the all the english-speaking world the songs about people so some of them may have originated here but also they were picked up by the cowboys and by the people who went across the prairies and you find them all over the world there's a mm -hmm. continuity of uh, stories and songs when we went out to america we found that uh, no so well, not an awful lot of people but some people knew our songs that we learned Thanks. from our grandmother Thanks as sort of uh, cowboy songs, you know. Mm -hmm. I mean, they had traveled and they had changed their uh, uniform as well, changed their clothes. They'd go to Australia, they might be on a ship and be a sea song. Mm -hmm. Sailors would pick them up. But wherever they went, they were fun anyway, you know. And they were universal. That was what helped us. When we started to sing them, everybody thought, oh my God, my grandmother used to Where sing Where did that. I hear that <laughs> air before? <laughs> yes. And not alone that, but the essence of all songs seemed to be drinking song for some reason. <laughs> Let's speak. That's it. It's part of our heritage. Uh, no. I have no pain, dear mother, now, but oh, I am Thanks. so dry. Thanks. Connect me to a brewery and leave me there <laughs> to die. <laughs> Is that no. lovely?
often when we put out to sea at the dawn of day, when the weather was decent enough. And by the day's end, there were people on the land who would be keening us. So much had the weather changed for the worse. It was our business to be out in the night, and the misery of that sort of fishing is beyond telling. I counted the worst of all trades. Again, the sea would drive over us, so we could see the land no more. And a long, long night of cold like this, struggling against the sea, with often little to get, only praying from moment to moment for the help of God. It was rare indeed for us to get a full catch, and then often we would have to cut away the nets and let it all go with the sea. On other nights, after all the labour of the fishing, the boat would be fairly full, and we couldn't make the harbour or the land, but the swell would be rising to the green grass, the storm blowing out of the northwest and the great waves breaking. We would have to flee then before the gale. You may understand from this that we are not to be put in comparison with the people of the great cities who are of the soft and level lands. <laughs> if we deserved blame betimes, it would be when a drop of drink was going round among us. <laughs> drink went to our heads cosier because we were always worn and weary like a tired horse with never any rest. Between me and the love of my soul, abandoned, forsaken, to grief and to care, will the sea ever waken relief from despair?
money that e'er I've spent. I have spent it in good company, and of all the harm that e'er I've done, alas, it was to none but me. For all I've done, for want of wit, to memory now I can't recall. So fill to me the parting glass. Good night and joy be with you all. The medical profession tell me that one ounce of alco alcohol before going to bed is better than anything that they can. It is true. Yeah. Yes. In this town that sorely has my heart beguiled. You met a lot of interesting people along the way. Uh, but I believe uh, Prince Charles, uh, or you, you came across him or he came across you on one occasion. I was mending a puncture down in Cornwall one time and I had about five weeks growth of beard that had been half. And I was mending a puncture and I remember the spanner slipped. Up with them since running back to Mammy's Rolls Royce. You know? No, no, we didn't. It falls unto my lot that I should rise and you should not. I'll gently rise and I'll softly call. Good night and joy. Good night, bless. Good night, bless. You know, an Irishman will be as his father was and his father's father's father was. He will argue with you, drink with you, fight with you, and marry your daughter. He'll fight wars of other nations, generally on both sides and sing sad and mournful songs about the beauty and the glory of Ireland. Ask any Irishman why he is as he is, and he'll answer, God knows. <laughs> it's a good answer. No one else does. <laughs>